My name is Caleb and I built an AI baby sleep coach that vastly improves on what I built in my last video. Introducing the Baby Sleep Coach 2.0. The Baby Sleep Coach tracks sleep and provides analysis for all ages, newborns through adults, using only a camera. It does not require special stands or specific camera positioning. With minimal guidance, it learns your child's sleep over time, becoming resilient to partially obstructed views, objects in your crib, and blankets. It's completely free and open source, no subscriptions, all you need is your own camera. The Baby Sleep Coach includes a web application with live streaming and sleep analytics. It can even send you notifications when your baby wakes up. There is zero latency, zero data collection. Nothing leaves your home network. Try it for free at calewilson.com. Pretty much immediately after I put out my last video, my code stopped working. But why? Mm. I built the original version of the Baby Sleep Coach to automatedly track our baby's wake and sleep so that we could plan for his optimal wake windows. But this little goblin creature we spawned started rolling all over and wearing bougie blankets, blocking his anatomical features from being easily detected, which is what version one of the code relied on to detect sleep. This is my first baby, and at the time, he was still a newborn, sleeping on his back. Apparently now he's a stomach sleeper, which makes it really difficult to rely on eyes to determine whether he's asleep. Also, now he's got blankets covering nearly all of his body. These new behaviors basically broke my code, resulting in unreliable sleep analysis. Without being able to rely on visible anatomical features, I went back to the drawing board. The first thing that came to mind was to train my own sleeping baby image classifier, which could be used if other capabilities don't detect anything with confidence. But predictive models need data, and I was data blocked. From here, I ended up going down a few different rabbit holes trying to find ways around my data problem. The only data I had represented my own child, and a model that trained on that data would not work well for other babies and environments. In an attempt to generalize the data I did have, I tried using an image processing technique called Histogram of Oriented Gradients, or HOG, oink oink, which is just a fancy way of saying the general shape and flow of your image. I figured this would remove color and noise in my image data, resulting in a predictive model that would work better for other babies, even babies under a blanket, as the hog output of a baby under a blanket is consistent and recognizable. Well, it kind of worked, but it mostly sucked, and it overcomplicated things. It was also too computationally expensive to reasonably run on my Raspberry Pi. You could say it was hogging all the resources. At this point, I had a realization. Instead of trying to build one model that works for every baby, I could create an experience where the user, you, can build your own extremely biased model that works exceptionally well for just your baby. So I built a pipeline where within the Baby Sleep Coach's web app, out of the box, a derpy predictive model is running, guessing whether a baby is present or not. If it's wrong, you just press a button to correct it, the system stores an image from the live stream, retrains, and immediately starts guessing again, becoming slightly less derpy. So then throughout the day, when you open the app to look at your baby, you can see what the system thinks, enabling you to correct it if necessary. I found that within one to two days, the system was tracking nearly perfectly for my baby, such that I didn't have to correct it anymore. At this point, I had a system that I believe is far more resilient to factors which inhibit the top end sleep tracking products on the market. The Baby Sleep Coach works at weird angles with partially obstructed views, objects in your crib, and blankets covering your baby. You don't need to purchase special stands and expensive cameras for a perfect bird's eye view of your baby, which is what some of the high-end products require in order to provide sleep analytics. With the Baby Sleep Coach, just put your camera on a shelf or sticky it to a wall, use the web app, and you have a free sleep tracking system that I believe works better than the top of the line products. There's a little upfront work involved in training it, but this is free. Let's stress test it with a professional baby actor. Start by setting the bounds of your baby's cozy little sleep area. From here, the system will continue to use all the same sleep capabilities that were in the first version, namely algorithms applied to the detected anatomical features over time. But if the system isn't confident in these, it will continuously invoke your new sleepy baby model, allowing me to correct it if it's wrong. Nice. There are a number of other features, performance improvements, and bug fixes that come with 2.0. It can now optionally send you notifications when your baby wakes up. Also, my crazy concentric sleep circles chart, which displays all recorded wake and sleep history for my baby, got way too big. So I made it zoomable. When you use the system, this chart will automatically be built and drawn for you over time, 
as you accumulate sleep data. The Baby Sleep Coach is completely open source and free to use. Just download the code, follow the instructions for setup, and use it. There's no data collection, nothing leaves your home network, all the data you generate is yours. The main constraint is that your camera needs to support the RTSP streaming protocol. Check out CalebWilson.com for more information and links to the code for this project. Check out my other projects too. I'd like to give a big thanks to the sponsor of this video, ClearML. Big Moses from ClearML reached out and wanted to offer support for my janky projects. They didn't really ask me to say or do anything, they just wanted to help out. They have a powerful looking end-to-end -end open source platform for experimentation through production of AI solutions. And there's a good group of guys over there, so check them out. Thanks for watching.